lovely Hello. folk. We're here today. I did a vlog the other day because it was sunny. As you saw, I was all like, ah, do a vlog. It's sun shining. As it is now. Hmm. Yeah, it's not quite. Anyway. Oh, helicopters are coming. Oh, they're coming to find us again. Right. Today's vlog is going to be from, is it St. Michael's Abbey? Yes. I just know it's Farnborough Abbey. Well, St. Michael's Abbey, I'm sure, is what I've seen it uh, named as. It is going to be opening at 3 p.m. The gates open automatically and you walk in for a tour of the Abbey. We've been wanting to do this for how long now? Two years? At least. At least Sunday. two years. Just because it's only it's open on Saturday. So every time we want to do it, we're either doing something else on a Saturday, not free on a Saturday, but today is the day, this people. Day. So I'm starting a vlog. Whether or not I can film in there, I don't know. So this may be completely futile. But if you're but watching this, odds are it wasn't futile. Yeah. So we'll find out. So I'm just going to show you here. There's people lining up to go in, and the gates dun, 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 are there. So uh, yeah, we'll get footage of the gates. Where am I going? Open sesame, yes. And yeah, it says St. Michael's Abbey on the side there with an awesome like griffin placard on the side of it. It looks very like Harry Potter-esque. But yeah, yeah, isn't. yeah, we don't want to go to a Harry Potter place, but we will find out once we venture inside, see what this place is like, eh? And hopefully more to follow, yes. More to follow. See you in there. <laughs> okay, a little bit of history as we are right at the gates here. I'll read it out. St. Michael's Abbey was built in the 1800s by Empress Eugenie in memorial to her husband Napoleon III and their son, the Prince Imperial. All three are entombed here in the family crypt. Did you know that? A family crypt? So here's the gates. Any minute now. There's the awesome griffin. And over there, there's some bees and shells. That's their family crest, I guess. So, uh, going soon once these gates open. It's opening. Oh. I guess we'll let the cars go first because we don't want to get run down, do we? Well, not today. After you, cars. <laughs> and then it's our turn. We're nearing it now. I'll film just as we come around the corner because it's quite epic. Of this beautiful leafy lane. We come up the hill. So, through the forest thicket. You can just see it through the bottom of the trees there. Quite a few people turned up for the tour. I'm glad, actually, because we were worried whether or not there would be a lot of people and would be like turned away. <laughs> Brickwork and that epic ceiling up there that you can see. Well, look at the view behind. It seems like it's in the country, does it? It's very it's kind of like. Yeah. Oh. We'll find out more once the tour begins. As I said, that is so Notre Dame right there. Okay, so we've been on the main church kind of tour with a little talk and the crypt tour as well there was no filming allowed sadly but it was amazing anyway the history of it is just wonderful um the empress eugenie is that how you say it right. yes i'm gonna get you in shot here because you're not in shot at all okay. um uh it was basically her and napoleon the third and their child what was his name louis yes Yes, 
uh, and when he died she was very distraught and built most of this in his honour. So um, we have some gargoyles and, and it's all very French, Parisian and Prussian, I believe. So here we go with the epic windows and the gargoyles on the side. I'm going to go around the side here whilst the tour is moving real quick just to get the door. I'm just going to get the gargoyles in before we leave because they're not moving very fast so it's okay. Awesome. Gargoyles, and here is where the crypt was. So I'm just going to get a shot of the front end here. Amazing. And round that way, there's still four monks in. Four monks. Yes, four Benedict monks. And round the side is the graveyard for purely the monks. So we're going to go back round the side up to the shop now I believe so I was trying to just fit in a bit of a vlog before we get there because I think afterwards we're going to expect that we're going to leave annoyingly <laughs> so I wanted to get some footage before we go uh, shot there of the amazing gargoyle on the top and the steps it's leading out shot before they throw us out of the Benedict Monk graves that I was just talking about. Here we have one of them's war veteran one by the looks of it as well. So there we have it. Windows that were all made of bottled Flemish glass I believe. Eh! I got it in me! <laughs> before they throw us out. <laughs> okay so that is a conclusion of our trip. Um, I would definitely wholeheartedly suggest this wonderful visit. Definitely. Um, if you're three here on whole Saturday. pounds that is a donation, but I would definitely suggest donating because it keeps the place running. Especially when you hear stories about people stealing eight hundred pounds worth of lead. Yes. Which is probably the reason it's so restricted to get in here yes. one time a week. Exactly. So and you know, you have to wait for the gates to open. You know who you are. Yeah, you should feel guilty <laughs> if you actually search for St. Michael's Abbey and sit and gloat going, oh, I have lead on my roof from that abbey. Well, screw you. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was a wonderful visit. Amazing history. As I said, I couldn't film whilst I was in there, but then that means you have to come, doesn't it? And see it. You have to come see yourself. <laughs> so, uh, a little shop visit as we are waiting. It's quite small, so we'll have to wait for the turnaround fit in there, but yes, beautiful place that is literally up on the hill, away from everything. Wouldn't even know it's away here, would you? World. Peace and quiet. As she was saying on, on the tour as well, it's like the train station runs alongside it, the road, the airport. You won't even know. So, uh, yes, I hope I filmed enough to uh, influence your visit. Because no photography or nothing. So, go check it out. Check out the website. Yep. So. Organ recitals every first Sunday of the month, so you can come down and check that out too. But from us, it is goodbye Til until next the next time. Maybe next visit will be a bit better, wet, better weather and be able to film a bit more because I've just done this little alcove, so I'm not getting wet. But um, yeah, bye for now, everybody. Toodle bit.